Hey everyone, Brendan Snyder here. How are you? Welcome to part three of building a music room. So I'm making a lot of headway here. I can't wait to show you guys what's going on with it. For those of you that are joining new, this is part three. There are two previous parts. I'm going to leave links in the description below to them. But uh, yeah, so I recently moved from New York City out here to New Jersey. Bought a big house. I've got some uh, square footage I can use and turn into a music room. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. And I'm showing that uh, process and progress as it goes through all the way up until the final end of this. Uh, big thing at this point here, getting unboxed and getting in all the stuff. It is turning into a real, real project. But as soon as it's done, sooner I can enjoy it. So join me. Let's go check things out. All right, so here's where we left off last time. They had just finished staining everything on the racks themselves. And I've gone ahead and moved the protections on the floor. They've done the touch-ups on that. We've got a little bit other stuff that's going on here. You can see they're doing some touch-ups at the wall. And as we come down here, there's some more touch-ups that are being done around the rest of this. But the racks themselves are done. They are good to go. I'm gonna start unboxing these uh, boxes here, the 103 boxes of uh, CDs, 90 CDs a piece in those. We're going to be moving a portion of it here. They won't all fit, but I'm certainly excited to see where we can go from here on this. Next up, it's time to get all of the CDs into these shelves. I've got one of the boxes that's down here, and it's time to start getting them on. Now, I'm not, this isn't a particular order, I'm just getting some up there to uh, let you see how that is, but what I've got to now go through is try and figure out whether or not I'm going to start at the beginning of this with the letter A and run all the way to Z and I'm going to mix all the genres or if I'm actually going to keep them separated in here. So these boxes were divided by genre and I've got to figure out whether I'm going to load in all of one genre then move to another genre and so forth. But that's my current dilemma on this. Well, started to make a bit of progress here. Got out uh, some of the stuff I want to get on display, not hung on the wall yet. I've decided for the moment I'm going to put this piece of furniture in here. But as you can see, I am getting some stuff out on the shelves. And I've decided at least for now to start with uh, A there at the beginning and work with uh, straight through rock and then probably separate into a couple other genres down towards the end there. But again, we'll have to wait and see how that all plays out. Like anything good, it takes time. So I'm moving through this slowly, trying to get it uh, just the way that I want it here. As you can see, I've already got a bunch of CDs out on the wall. But, you know, as I pull out one box and I think I'm all done with the A's or the B's or the C's, there's something else that was filed a particular way. And then I got to make room and move it all around. And we all know that story. So just plugging away. As you can see, lots of progress has been made but it has certainly taken a long time. I cannot wait until this is all good to go. All right, so here's where I'm at. A lot of progress has been made. Still a long way to go, but uh, yeah, certainly making some headway. All right, so as you can see, I've made a lot of progress here. Uh, this was the work that you see behind me doing all of that was a solid eight hours of unboxing 26 of those white boxes like that. Each of those hold 90 CDs in them. So that was around 2,300 CDs that I had to get out of boxes and get organized into the shelves. And that seems to be the biggest thing at this point. Um, I thought it'd be pretty quick and easy going when I started it. I thought, ah, oh, you know, a couple hours, I'll have it all done and everything. But eight hours later, I still don't have it all done. And really what it came down to was while I kept most of my uh, CDs boxed up, grouped by genre and then alphabetical in that genre, just over the years of, of having them and then uh, creating sort of uh, subcategories and things throughout that time and grouping things together and having a box that's all of this one artist or something of that nature, led to having lots of different boxes beyond just the genre boxes. So I started in with the genre boxes, opening those up and trying to get them into the racks and so forth. And I've sort of uh, decided that the one that you can see that's behind me there, that one is all a 
straight rock, classic rock, if you want to call it that, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s rock, that kind of stuff. And then uh, the one that you're actually starting to see right there, that is glam metal. And then continuing on down, mirroring to the other side is going to be heavy metal. So don't actually have an area for the alternative rock because those were the three categories that I had. Uh, so I got to figure that out. I might build some more shells. We'll, we'll see what happens. But um, in terms of getting these things unboxed, just there were more boxes beyond. And as every time I would open another box going on to something else, and I would have thought I was all done with the A's, the B's, the C's, et cetera, I had to make more room. And you keep sliding down and sliding down and so forth. And so I am leaving a little bit of room at the ends of each row in order to be able to add stuff in. And thank goodness that I did, because actually late last night as I was trying to wrap this thing up and kind of, uh, you know, cap things off, I started at about 11.30 yesterday afternoon and went all the way until 7 30 almost eight o'clock at night non-stop straight through didn't stop for lunch dinner or anything like that i just you know i'm sure you guys are the same when you get going with your music stuff uh, that's all that takes precedence but i started finding a bunch more stuff and so i've actually got to go back in and uh, rustle things around to try to get the stuff in and so ultimately what's happening a lot of you guys have asked you know, am I going to be able to get the whole collection out? Well, no, I have over 11,000 CDs, so I'm not going to be able to get them all out. And I'm having to pick and choose sort of the, the most important stuff to get out on display. And um, like with the glam metal, it ended up creating three boxes worth uh, 90 CDs a piece that go in there. So those... Um, you know, are gonna go get stored somewhere and they will sort of be backup. It'll be the stuff that I rarely, if ever, pull, but definitely one in the collection kind of a stuff. And I may choose to thin some of that herd down later on. I'm not gonna go do any uh, selling or getting rid of anything uh, right off the bat. I'm gonna live with it for a while and see, but this is a good opportunity to, for me to decide if there is anything that I wanna start paring down on. So again, a lot of you guys asking, oh, you must have uh, surpassed uh, 11 and hit 12 by now because I've been saying that for about the last year, give or take. But uh, I may actually sell off a bunch and not be uh, at 11,000 or stay at 11,000. You know, we'll have to wait and see. But a lot more to come, a lot more unboxing. As you can see, when I panned around with all the boxes and you can see the ones stacked around me, got to figure out what I'm doing with all of it. But right now, I'm just very, very excited to finally have uh, CDs out on display. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me on that. Uh, certainly stick around for a fourth episode on this where I hope to actually be presenting the final room as is, but of course we'll have to wait and see uh, you know, what kind of a path all of this takes here. But uh, let me know your thoughts, your comments. Have a good day and I'll be talking to you all real soon. Bye-bye everyone.